Welcome to Cannes Eco 2013, live from the 66th Cannes Film Festival. The panel today is going to be looking at independent film packaging. Uh, my name's James Simpson. I'm a producer, writer, uh, been involved in 24 films. Um, I want to start this, and I'll maybe start with you, Ariel. In terms of film packaging, it's still about funding of the movie for the producers, both in equity, soft money, and sales. How would you say the marketplace has changed in the immediate last two years, 24 months, in terms of the challenges the producers are facing in 2013? It's gotten worse. And, and you'd put that down to, in the main? People are just more demanding in terms of what uh, is going to drag them out to a movie theater and get out of their comfort and their internet addiction uh, and, and go out to see movies in movie theaters. And home entertainment is declining or some would say dying. Maybe many, many people are watching films online, but the question is, are they paying for it? You know, there's a lot of there's piracy and illegal downloads. That's a big problem also. Uh, and Robert, how has that affected you know, the problem of producers actually getting those numbers together in terms of how many territories they sell? It's, it's harder for producers now. They really have to set their sights on creating a package that uh, is going to um, stimulate distributors to get behind it with their marketing support and marketing efforts, tie in with your theatrical release and your VOD component. It's, it's no accident the movies that do well in the space. You know, they, it's, it, they're built to do that way. But I think right now it's in transition and you know, sales agencies need to be um, sharp and we need to be flexible. And Robert, can you see other issues that producers producing in 2013 are facing that they weren't facing 24 months ago? Well, I would say that just the, the importance of getting a foreign sales company on board as soon as possible has just just gotten bigger and bigger every year. Um, any sort of knowledgeable equity will not commit to a project without having foreign sales numbers yeah. and without really having a sense of what this company will be able to do in these territories before investing. Do you think that, uh, that the producer of 2013 is, is actually also having more and more pressure of attaching major cast? Oh, of course. It's either cast or director driven. You either really have to have a marquee director or you have to have some marquee cast to do strong pre-sales on a film based on the script. Yeah, and that's the ultimate problem, of Absolutely. course. Absolutely. Not just making a good film, is how do you feel that 100%? To get that equity where you can't do pre-sales, yeah is very difficult. Yeah, I mean, you need you need people who are really willing to take a risk on the vision of the director. Thankfully, those people still exist because these films are still getting made. That's right. And Jennifer, your new film that you're setting up, I mean, the problems of, of setting that up and funding it? The artistic integrity of the script and, and the creative process. So I think that the driving force in terms of, because I'm directing it as well, so the driving force in terms of going into meetings with people who Say to, say to me literally, why you? And can can we get somebody else? You know, um, can we replace you? No. Yeah, <laughs> it's a respectable question, and I'm willing to answer it. And I know exactly why I'm directing that film. There's a short list of actors they want you to cast, um, and and again, for me, it's just about making this film the best film that it can possibly be, which doesn't always equate to casting those people. If you were to say one thing. Uh, to a producer out there today starting off, and I know there's a lot of experience, what would be the, one of the key things you'd say, this is what you need to do to help that film get funded? What would be your... One of the founders of this company, Mike Benaroy, has been very good at that, which is packing really a, a really significant level of cast at a certain budget level and being able to come to market and have reasonable asking prices in the in the different territories helps a lot, makes our, lot, our job a lot easier. Very quickly, Rob, I'm trying to get around one, one thing you'd say that's different to that. It, you know, it's expensive for distributors to release a film. They, they have to get behind the film so that you can make a piece of business out of it and working with your distributors ahead of time, making some considerations uh, that make the film a little more commercial. Those are, those are great ideas for producers and help move the project along. Right, right, right. Final comment. I would say I think it's really important just to listen to what the marketplace is telling you. If you're showing your project to foreign sales agents and people keep telling you the same thing, people keep telling you what you need to make your project more marketable for the world, you have to listen to them. I mean, they're, I mean the foreign sales agents are the experts and in this day and age, they're the ones who are going to make the difference about whether your film gets made or not. Thanks, everybody, for contributing. And uh, let's hope people found that very interesting. It was fun. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.